Okay, back with another video. So soon you ask? Well, yeah, um, because, yeah, we need to uh, get videos up, right? You know, you want to watch stuff and you've got to work towards that mic, you've got to get some subscriptions in, but that's, uh, you know, that's another matter entirely. So, you know, anyway, if you want to see some stuff, um, I'm going to post it basically. So yeah, I decided to order myself something. If you can see the reflection of my, uh, no, you can't really see it in the reflection there. So the big reveal is da, 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 da. Ah, too big for my camera to take in, um, despite the fact it's mini. So yes, C64 mini. Um, why you ask? Damn, that came out like four years ago, five years ago even. You're behind the times. Yeah, but shut up. I can do what I want. It's my channel. So this is, yeah, this came out a while back. I never had a C64 as a kid. My cousins did. So I used to go around and play on theirs and I would insist that we play games like Future Night and things like that, which isn't a great game. But, you know, they wanted to go and play in the woods across the road and do like normal boy stuff, real boy stuff. And uh, I didn't. Anyway, that's my memories of the C64. And obviously, you know, the usual 80s memories of shit not loading after waiting for like 30 minutes of um, screeching tape noise and strobing screens and so forth so yeah so anyway I, I saw this cheap i picked it up i thought why not let's do it let's go for it and let's have a quick look so yeah c64 not a commodore um i mean i yeah i could make the joke couldn't i you know i remember this computer this commodore computer where you would play commodore games on it and you know it was a Commodore, Commodore 64 games ran on it. I think it was called the C64. And that's what it is to avoid copyrights and all that business of the now defunct Commodore company. But we all know it's a C64. We all know it's a Commodore 64. It looks the same. That's it there. It's beige. It's got the F buttons down the side. It's what it is. Anyway, so this is a plug and play thing. Boulder Dash. California Games. Impossible Mission. Jumpman, Summer Games, Street Sports Baseball, okay. Speedball 2, Pit Stop 2, well, I seem to remember playing that. Paradroid, that is a classic. Temple of Asphy Trilogy, okay, it's probably okay. Winter Games, Iridium is top notch. And Basic, um, some of the stuff included. There's a full list, but you know, you can Google that stuff online. Um, so yeah, 64 games to fit with the theme of it being a C64, 64 featuring heavily here. I'm not happy with 64 games. I want more games. Not every game. That would be ridiculous. I will never play them. It's not stopped me in the past. But, you know, I just want to get some uh, select titles on here, which I believe you can do now. And you can add them to the carousel instead of just side loading them. So you get nice box art and a description and all that stuff that comes with the... Um, with these stock games so that's what i'm looking to do with it um at some point because you know me i can't leave stuff alone so let's get it open we'll have a dig in and while i awkwardly try to fumble open this box and fill time by yakking about anything um eagerly anticipate taking a look at this so yeah i didn't have the c16 uh, sorry c64 as a kid i had a c16 a commodore 16 um, that was my first computer. I was, what, four, four years old when I got that? And, um, you know, it's considered something of a piece of junk. Uh, even back then, really, it seemed completely pointless. When the, you know, the VIC-20 had been out and the Commodore 64 was out, it was like, what the hell are you doing? Why are you bringing out this uh, underpowered computer? And the Plus 4 as well was the C16's, like, slightly bigger brother and, you know, slightly better. But no, I had the Commodore 16. But that served me for years until I got a Game Boy. So, you know, fond memories. So I'm going to see if maybe I can get some C16 games on there as well. Here we go. That is the box. Let's open the inner box. For the loveliness that's inside. It's, uh, it was bigger than I thought. And a sort of competition pro themed joystick. Um, obviously not actually competition pro stuff. But anyway, let's whip this open. There it is, a chonky unit. It's quite, you know, tiny. 
but um, it's got a bit of weight to it. I think this, I saw another video, I think it was Ashen's. He did a great video as he always does, where he opened it up and there's loads of weights in it and a very, very tiny sort of PCB CPU thing. So yeah, not much in there. The keyboard looks lovely, but you, you can touch it, but it doesn't work. So um, yeah, and a couple of USB ports and a reset button is that on the side. And then obviously your power and HDMI on the back. So it comes with a lead. It does not come with a plug as things seem to be these days. That's fine, I've got tons of leads and plugs and crap um, from various projects and you know, all that stuff. So that won't be a problem. The joystick is, there's a massive close-up. I'll get a better shot on that in a second once I've had a look in the box. Um, digging through, there we go. Got the USB lead. Hood me lead and then some stuff and a quick guide themed on the original Commodore 64 style guide you would get. So it's, it's lightweight, but it's fine. I don't really need it. I'm not going to be using this as a fully fledged computer, which the C64 is intended to be. I'm going to use it um, for gaming, which is what it ended up being known for, obviously, because that's what my channel's about. It's not you know, retro dandy spreadsheet channel, is it? Um, I'm not gonna go over business software. So anyway, let's see if I can angle this down a tad. Organize, organize things. Well, that just about fits in there as well, lovely. So there's that. Here is the joystick. More buttons than you would have, would have originally had on a Competition Pro. Um, it's uh oh no it doesn't feel great uh, uh yeah and again i've heard this it's going to be functional if nothing else but um where are their micro switches huh i want my clicky switch give me those give me the clicky stick i think that's something that's available separately i'm sure they do a um a separate one so what we'll do i'm gonna stop the video here and seamlessly transition to the C64 being powered on. Um, and you won't even notice that it's happening, apart from the fact I've just told you it's a thing that's about to happen. Okay, back after the wipe. So seamless, I'm sure you'll agree. Um, let's get this booted up then. I think it just switches on as soon as you plug it in, to be honest. It's done a thing. The light has come on. There it is. Was it, is it getting enough juice? Is it going to do anything? Uh, what is up with that? Let's see. Yes, it does help if you've got it on the right input. So uh, yeah, I work in IT, you know. Oh dear, there's a lot of, um, lot of travel in that. So let's see, what's one? Okay, here we go, some games. Nice catch, let's turn this up a bit so you can hear. Some nice Sid style tunes. Let's play a bit of, bit of Uridium. I mean, it certainly loads a lot quicker than the, uh, the original C64. Never particularly good at Uridium in the first place, but never mind, we'll, we'll try it anyway. Just show you, show it off a bit. Ah, that is smooth, I forgot what a, oh. I forgot how smooth the scrolling is on this. Uh, real piece of work, it's a great game. On a side note, there is like a, is it Hyper Sentinel, I think? An indie game that came out a few years ago. I picked it up on the Switch for like, pence. It was really cheap. Um, and that's really good. It's very much like this. I'm going to fly into that thing again because I'm an idiot. Uh, 
I missed, uh, flying to the other one because I'm still an idiot. So that's Iridium. Clearly, I'm rubbish at it. Let's come out of it. Okay, there we go. Nice. So, yeah, that's Iridium. Let's see what else we got. Trailblazer was pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's see. Super Cycle, Summer Games, uh, Street Sports Soccer, Basketball, Baseball, Spin Dizzy, Marvel Madness, basically. Speedball 2, I would go for the Amiga version. But, you know... It's nice that it's on there. Oh, school days. I didn't realize that was on there. Uh, remember the word. Pit stop. I remember pit stop. Paradoid's great. Uh, is that nodes of Yasod? Yeah, okay. Okay, Nobby the Aardvark. So, you know, there's some good stuff on here. Monty on the run's good. But, you know, it's missing some things. The multi format ones, some of the ones I can. Um, Better known on the spectrum, so you know I'm gonna get some dizzy games. I think I need uh, Future Night, obviously, because it's um, it's not it's just a game I like. Um, oh, what was the other one? Manic Miner and stuff like that. I will probably get them for this as well, but uh, I might. You know, I, I, I'm not making any promises. I might do another video maybe where I kind of go over the carousel and adding stuff to it. I'll certainly cover. Um, um, cover when I'd done it so you can see what it looks like. Let's try a bit of Boulder Dash because again this was another one as a kid I was adequate at. I feel like... oh, yeah, okay. On the Commodore 16 I had, uh... uh yes this is why I did as a kid. On the Commodore 16 I had a great game called Tutti Frutti which is basically Mr. Do very similar to this as well. Um, so I want to see if I can get that on here because that was, for the C16, it was like one of the best. It was one of the greats. Uh... Yeah, sorry, I'm getting involved in playing this now and I'm not actually talking about it. I could blame the joystick. I'm not going to, but it doesn't have the click. It doesn't give you the feedback, which is um, kind of a shame. I, I like the clicky, clicky sticks. I wouldn't have used the Competition Pro back in the day. It, it may have been a zip stick or something like that. My cousins just had loads of stuff for the C64 hanging around. So um, we just used whatever they had. But um, yeah, so... It'll be fun, need to play around with it a bit. We'll, um, I'll take a good look, see what I can do with it, see what I can add to it. I think it might do VIC-20 stuff as well, so I, I'll do that. I remember I was given a VIC-20 game as a kid, and it was assumed it would just work on the Commodore 16. I had that game for years and it wouldn't play on it. So I could never, I just had this game I could never, never play, which was really teasing. I don't think it was even that good. I can't remember what it was. I have to look it up. But anyway, that's an aside. I'm going to get some stuff on here. I'll do another video because I love doing videos, apparently. And then we'll uh, see how it's looking. I am going to beg for subscribers because I, you know, I will do because I could do more subs. And basically, subscribe, get to 50, I get a mic, you get better quality audio, and then uh, we'll go from there. Maybe I'll get a better camera down the line. But until next time, happy gaming.